Welcome to Toilet Paper Origami with Made to Shine. Today we're going to be teaching you a few toilet paper folding tricks to make your TP extra fancy. So let's get toilet paper rolling. Alright, first things first, you're going to want to get yourself a roll of toilet paper that's going to be essential in toilet paper origami. We are going to begin by folding a leaf. So we are going to take this little corner and fold it up using our first square of toilet paper. We'll fold it up here and make a triangle, give it a nice crease. And then what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna leave about a half inch of toilet paper down here. We're gonna just fold our toilet paper over. There you go, we'll give it a nice crease. Make sure that you've left that little half inch. And then we are just going to fold it kind of like a fan until we don't have any loose toilet paper. Keep folding it over and folding it over. Try to get it as straight as you can. And then let's do one more fold just to tuck it in. So make sure that's nice and creased. And then what you're gonna want to do is take this end and fold it to this end. And we are gonna go under with that. So grab it and I also grab in the middle right here and give it a little pinch just to kind of secure it better. So that's gonna fold under, and then we're gonna want to just really smooth it down, make sure the creases are good. And then you're gonna take this, flip it, and fan it out. And there you have a beautiful little toilet paper leaf to impress all of your bathroom guests. All right, so let's jump into our next toilet paper origami creation. So once again, you're gonna need a roll of toilet paper. The easiest way to do this is I would unfold this square and you really are just gonna work with one square and just fold it into a little triangle of sorts. Try to make them as symmetrical as you possibly can. Obviously, that is not my strong suit, but hopefully it's yours. So we're gonna get that folded and then just crease it down, give it a good crease, and then we're gonna roll it up and we're gonna flip it. And you'll see that you have a nice little point right here. And honestly, if you wanted to keep things simple, you could just throw this onto your toilet paper holder. But we don't keep things simple. So now this this next fold is a bit tricky, I'll admit, but we are gonna jump right into it. We're gonna use this point as sort of um, like an access point, I guess we would say. And we're gonna just fold this over a little bit and you're gonna reveal this back fold. And then we're gonna do the same to the other side. Try to keep it symmetrical and leave a bit of a gap in here. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Then what we are going to do is, after making sure it's nice and creased, um, we are going to just flip this entire thing up and we're going to fold it again about where this fold kind of starts. So flip it up. There you go. And it might come unfolded because that's toilet paper for you, folding with toilet paper. It's not an easy craft, but gosh, it's impressive. Okay, so you'll see that we have kind of a, a sail for our boat starting to form. Ignore the little raggedy ends, I'll just take that off. All right, so this bottom part that is seems to be not folded, you're gonna fold up and that's gonna make kind of the base of our boat. There you go, so we're on our way, we've got that. Now we need to make it into more of a boat shape. So what we're gonna do is just take these ends and fold them. Give them like a little slant. That's gonna also help hold the toilet paper in place. And do the same for the other side. And there you go. You have yourself a little sailboat that's sure to impress anyone who reaches for the toilet paper. All right, time to move on to our next roll. Alrighty, we are jumping into our last toilet paper origami. So, once again, we're gonna need a roll of toilet paper. 
This one is pretty fancy looking, but honestly, I think it is the most easy. So we are going to be creating a fan toilet paper origami fold. And this one is gonna require just a bit more toilet paper than the other. So we are going to tear off one sheet of toilet paper and set the roll aside. Then we will fold our one sheet into a little fan. So just back and forth, you know this from elementary school. All right, so once that's nice and folded, make sure it's got a good crease to it. You can go ahead and just kind of fold it in half and make your little fan shape. So we will go ahead and set our fan aside. We will use it in just a moment. Now it's time to grab the toilet paper roll. All right, so we are going to just grab one sheet and we're gonna fold it, and we're gonna fold it again. Of course, you gotta pay attention to the creases. Now bring this up, and we're still just only focusing on one sheet of toilet paper. We are going to move that out of the way, and then we're going to just fold a little triangle. Once again, try to keep this symmetrical and even if you can pull it off, but I don't know. Me personally, I struggle with it. And then we're going to just fold that over and you will see that you've created a little pocket and we are going to just kind of give that pocket a little push out because you're going to want to put something in it and that's going to be your little fan. So I kind of recommend just smashing down the bottom part to kind of get it to fit in there. Be gentle because it is very easy to rip it and then once it's in there and kind of push it back together just to make it look pretty make sure it's even and then there you go that is going to be your fancy little toilet paper roll and it's going to be a fun treat for whoever pulls on it and realizes that it's more than one piece of toilet paper i hope everybody enjoyed this and if you say i don't think i want to fold my own toilet paper give made to shine a call and we'll do it for you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.